Eric Salerno, a name synonymous with captivating storytelling and a deep love for Rome. Eric Salerno is not just an author, he is a historian, a journalist, and a passionate advocate for the preservation of Rome's rich cultural heritage. His works have touched the hearts of many, bringing the ancient city to life through his vivid descriptions and heartfelt narratives. In his memoir, Phantasmia Roma, Ghosts in Rome, Salerno invites us to walk alongside him through the enchanting streets of the Eternal City. This book is more than just a memoir. It is a journey through time, a tapestry woven with the threads of history, personal anecdotes, and the timeless beauty of Rome. Salerno's writing style is immersive, making readers feel as though they are right there with him, experiencing the sights, sounds, and smells of the city. He shares his personal journey, interwoven with the rich tapestry of Roman history, culture, and the echoes of lives lived. Salerno's deep connection to Rome is evident in every page as he delves into the stories of the people who have shaped the city over the centuries. From emperors and gladiators to artists and ordinary citizens, his narrative brings to life the diverse characters that have left their mark on Rome. Salerno's story is not just about his own experiences, it's about the soul of Rome itself. He explores the city's many layers, from its ancient ruins to its bustling modern streets, revealing the intricate interplay between past and present. Through his eyes, we see how Rome has evolved over the millennia, yet remains a place where history is always present, just beneath the surface. He becomes our guide, a modern-day Virgil leading us through the layers of time. With his deep knowledge and passion for the city, Salerno helps us to see Rome in a new light, uncovering hidden gems and forgotten stories that enrich our understanding of this remarkable place. His insights and reflections make us appreciate the city not just as a collection of historical sites, but as a living, breathing entity with its own unique character and spirit. His narrative is a love letter to the city, its people, and its timeless allure. Salerno's affection for Rome is palpable, and his writing is infused with a sense of wonder and reverence for the city's beauty and history. He captures the essence of Rome, from its grand monuments to its charming back streets, and conveys the magic that has drawn people to the city for centuries. Through his eyes, we see Rome not just as tourists, but as participants in its ongoing story. Salerno encourages us to look beyond the surface and to engage with the city on a deeper level, to appreciate its complexities and contradictions. He shows us that Rome is not just a place to visit, but a place to experience, to live, and to love. Salerno's journey resonates with anyone who has ever felt the pull of a place, the desire to belong, and the magic of discovering the extraordinary in the ordinary. His story is a testament to the power of place and to the ways in which our surroundings can shape our identities and our lives. For Salerno, Rome is not just a backdrop, but a central character in his life story, a source of inspiration and a constant companion. His story reminds us that every cobblestone, every fountain, Every crumbling wall in Rome whispers tales of the past, waiting to be heard by those who know how to listen. Salerno's memoir is an invitation to slow down, to take the time to explore, and to listen to the stories that the city has to tell. It is a reminder that history is all around us, and that by paying attention, we can uncover the hidden layers of meaning that make a place truly special. Imagine leaving the familiar bustle of New York City, a place where the streets are always alive with energy, the lights never dim, and the skyline is a testament to human ambition. Now picture trading all of that for the ancient allure of Rome, a city where history whispers from every corner, and the past and present coexist in a beautiful, chaotic harmony. This was the leap of faith Eric Salerno took, 
He left behind the towering skyscrapers and the relentless pace of New York for centuries-old ruins and a slower, more reflective way of life. He swapped the iconic yellow cabs for sputtering Vespas, navigating the narrow, winding streets of Rome with a sense of adventure and curiosity. His journey began with a deep yearning, a desire to connect with his Italian heritage, to understand the roots that had always been a part of him but felt distant and abstract. Leaving behind a successful career in American journalism, Salerno embraced the unknown with a mixture of excitement and trepidation. The decision was not easy, but the call of his ancestral land was too strong to ignore. He traded the fast-paced, deadline-driven world of journalism for the slower, more deliberate rhythm of Roman life. Here, he found time to sit in cafes, to write, to observe, and to truly live in the moment. This transition wasn't always easy. There were moments of confusion, frustration, and doubt. The language barrier was a constant challenge, and the cultural differences often left him feeling like an outsider. But Salerno was determined. He immersed himself in the language, using books, apps, and every opportunity to practice with the locals. He attended cultural festivals, eager to understand and participate in the traditions that were now a part of his life. Despite the challenges, Salerno persevered. His insatiable curiosity and growing affection for Rome kept him going. He explored the city's landmarks, marveled at its architecture, and engaged with its people slowly but surely finding his place in this ancient city. He navigated the labyrinthine streets with increasing confidence, learning the language, embracing the cuisine, and forming deep connections with the people he met along the way. Each interaction, each new experience, brought him closer to the heart of Rome. With each passing day, Rome began to feel less like a foreign city and more like home. The sun sets over the ancient skyline, the aroma of freshly brewed coffee, the warmth of the people. All of it became a part of his daily life. He wasn't just an American in Rome, he was becoming a Roman himself. He participated in local festivals, shook hands with new friends, and even donned traditional attire, fully embracing his new identity and the rich tapestry of his heritage. Salerno's background as a journalist played a pivotal role in shaping his experiences in Rome. His journey began with a deep curiosity about the world and a passion for storytelling. This passion led him to the heart of Italy, where he would spend years uncovering the layers of history and culture that define Rome. His trained eye for detail and his ability to weave compelling narratives from everyday life allowed him to capture the essence of the city. Whether it was the bustling markets, the quiet alleyways, or the grand historical landmarks, Salerno saw stories everywhere. He had a unique talent for finding the extraordinary in the ordinary, turning mundane moments into captivating tales. He didn't just see ancient ruins. He saw the stories etched into their stones. Each crack and crevice held a piece of history, a fragment of a bygone era waiting to be told. Salerno's writing brought these ancient tales to life, making the past feel immediate and relevant to his readers. As a correspondent, Salerno had the opportunity to delve into the heart of Italian society. He wasn't just an observer. He was an active participant in the cultural and social fabric of Rome. His interactions with locals provided him with a deeper understanding of the city's soul. He covered political events, cultural festivals, and human interest stories, each experience adding another layer to his understanding of Rome and its people. From the fervor of political rallies to the joy of cultural celebrations, Salerno's work painted a comprehensive picture of life in Rome. He interviewed historians, artists, shopkeepers, and everyday Romans capturing their unique perspectives and weaving their stories into the larger narrative of the city. These interviews were more than just conversations. They were windows into the lives and minds of the people who make Rome what it is. 
Through his work, Salerno became a bridge between cultures, sharing the richness and complexities of Italian life with a wider audience. His stories transcended borders, offering readers around the world a glimpse into the vibrant life of Rome. He used his platform to challenge stereotypes, highlighting the warmth, humor, and resilience of the Italian spirit. Salerno's writing celebrated the human connections that define Rome, showcasing the city's ability to bring people together despite their differences. His journalism wasn't just about reporting the news, it was about fostering understanding and appreciation for a culture that had captivated his heart. Salerno's work went beyond the headlines, delving into the stories that truly mattered. He believed that by sharing these stories, he could help build a more connected and empathetic world. Salerno's love for Rome was evident in every piece he wrote. The city's beauty, its history, and its people were his muse. He often described the breathtaking sunsets over the Tiber River, the majestic silhouette of the Colosseum at dawn, and the vibrant street life that filled every corner of the city. In the quiet moments, sitting at a cafe with a notebook in hand, Salerno would reflect on his experiences. These reflections were the foundation of his stories, each one a testament to his deep connection with Rome. His writing was a love letter to the city, a tribute to its enduring charm and timeless allure. Over the years, Salerno's articles became a significant part of the cultural dialogue about Rome. His work not only informed, but also inspired. Readers from all walks of life found themselves drawn to his vivid descriptions and insightful commentary. Salerno's legacy as a journalist is one of bridging gaps, fostering understanding, and celebrating the rich tapestry of human experience. In the end, Salerno's chronicles of history and culture are more than just stories. They are a testament to the power of journalism to connect us to the world and to each other. His work reminds us that every city, every person has a story.